Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about adenosine triphosphate, more commonly known as ATP. ATP is the energy currency of the cell. That is to say, it provides the energy for the vast majority of reactions that take place in living organisms. ATP is made up of three main components, the nitrogenous base adenine, the sugar ribose, and three bound phosphates. ATP gives one of these phosphates and becomes ADP, adenosine diphosphate. This phosphate that it gives provides energy for a reaction. I'll make a separate video about how this happens and link it below. The phosphate is then reattached in a separate reaction. Essentially, ATP is a high energy compound that gives off some of its energy and becomes ADP, a low energy compound. But where does ATP get this energy? The sun is the main and major source of energy for all living things. Plant cells produce ATP through light reactions in the chloroplast during photosynthesis. They then use that ATP to produce sugars like glucose. It's a complicated process that unfortunately will not be covered in this video. Animal cells form ATP by breaking down glucose in glycolysis and cellular respiration. Most of this takes place in the mitochondria. So the energy your body uses every day literally came from the sun. Pretty rad, huh? Let's do a quick recap. ATP is the energy currency of the cell. It's produced in animal cells by breaking down glucose. The energy in ATP ultimately comes from the sun. And finally, ATP gives off a phosphate in chemical reactions to become ADP. I'll link a video here about how this energy is transferred in chemical reactions because it's pretty awesome. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more great content. I'll catch you next time.